What's going on, peoples? Um, okay, this is my Samsung Galaxy S3 for T-Mobile. Uh, I just reinstalled the Wicked ROM. I think some some things wasn't playing friendly with the ROM, so I just reinstalled it. Didn't really install too many applications or anything like that, but I did install a, a new custom kernel, which I'll try to get you guys a name here. I should start writing this stuff down. But um, I didn't really have the time to because I'm a truck driver and I'm actually in my truck. But anyway, this is Wicked Rom version 2. So shouts out to him. Um, that's the kernel right there. I'm not sure if the kernel actually has a name. But it is right here. If you can see that. It's on um, It's on XDA for you, to, for you guys to download. This allows you to overclock the... Um, processor not not the gpu though it, it allows you to overclock the processor to um 2.3 now i put it at 2.2 because at 2.3 the phone does get pretty hot and um it did like shut off on me so i put it at 2.2 put the governor on on demand and it seems to work pretty fine um, it's very fast. I mean, it's like lightning fast now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and run the 3D Mark benchmark, which I think I already have open. So as you can see, once again, I have achieved the highest score in 3D Mark, which uh, beats whatever this phone is here. I actually got a higher score before this this particular benchmark I got a it was um 11 uh, uh, what was it I forgot the score but I know that it was a 70 here instead of an 18 so let me go ahead and run the benchmark again and see if there's anything different and then I'll just uh let you guys see for yourself I mean it I don't know this this benchmark is like it's buggy in itself like sometimes it it's like you get a high higher score sometimes you don't if you look down here you you can see that sometimes i got a higher score sometimes i didn't so anyway i'm just going to run it again for you guys to see for yourself and then you make your own judgment all right give me one second i just don't want the 3d mark trademark stuff all over my phone YouTube is they go ape shit over stuff like this so while it's loading because the, the trademark is still there I'm just gonna keep it right here until it actually loads the demo and then I'll put it back so now I might get a lower score now because I did start installing stuff on the phone so I'm not sure but I'm recording this with my HTC Evo 3D, which seems to pick up the picture quality on the device a lot better than my cheap little camcorder does. See, right now I can tell I'm going to get a lower score because the frame rate is a lot lower than what I was getting before. But I'm not sure like why it does that. I'll try to run um, Limpack after this. I know when I had it at a 2.3, I was almost in the uh, like thousands in the mega flop category. It was just shy of like, I think I was like maybe number 34 in the world or something like that. The way I, I'll be able to tell if I'm going to get a high score is when it actually gets to the physics test. If that is not in the high 30s when it comes to frame rate, then I know I'm, I'm not going to get too much of a good score. But as you can see, the frame rate jumps into the look 80s, 90s. I mean, this, this phone is crazy. And then I'll run kernel tuner so you can see that all the cores were at um 
2.2. And, and the phone actually doesn't even really get that hot at, at those frequencies. Now there is another kernel that allows you to overclock the GPU by 500 megahertz. But uh, when I did that, the phone did get really hot. So it's loading up a different demo right now. And uh, I'll move it back when it's once it's finished loading. Yeah, this is this is getting real high frame rate because normally this would be in the low 40s, early 50s, and I've just seen it jump up to about 60. Yeah. So I might get a high score. Depends. Depends on the physics test. Okay, it's learning uh, loading the third demo. I mean, I wonder if they can actually make a game using this engine. Oh. Okay, fourth and final demo. Oh yeah, I'm probably going to get a real high score now. I mean, look, the fit, before this was in the low, like, it was about 20 frames a second. And now it, it just hit 40 when it started. So I should be getting a pretty high score. So let's see what it says. Wow, see? Once again, I beat that phone, even though I got a little bit lower score maybe because I started installing stuff already so yeah this got to be the best phone like ever created <laughs> seriously like I can't put the phone down now, I'm not sure if I have oh actually I don't even have limp pack in here all right so I'm gonna benchmark some more things post some more numbers but I'm gonna leave you with this video as you can see 3D Mark, I have the highest score in the world, so um, I'm going to install um, Limpack and, and Tutu or whatever that thing is and see what those things say, so thanks for watching and I'll keep you guys posted. Well, actually, wait a minute, let me go, I forgot to go to Kernel Tuner. So, I don't, but it doesn't keep the CPUs on for some reason. I guess it's because it's throttling, but um, I normally just put it on performance and link all GPUs together. I mean CPUs, see. So, but anyway, um, well, actually, I think does this have an impact? I'm not even sure. I'm not. Yeah, that's whack. So. I'll download the actual application because I know that that's not good at all. So, anyway, thanks for watching.